Hey guys, this is the um, flea market that's uh, only a few minutes away from my house. As you can see, it's Saturday and there's not a lot of people here. But um, let's see what I can find. I'll walk it out and maybe I'll get lucky. First up, as you can see, are a box of DVDs. But mixed in, you'll see some 360 games, some GameCube games, uh, some PS2 games, and even some PC games. And again, depending on the price, I could very well be uh, interested in some of these. Um, unfortunately, as you can see, as I pull some of these out, they are very grungy. Um, but I'm pretty sure I have a good chance of cleaning these up and making them at least a little presentable. Let me get down, huh? How much are they? Wow, a dollar a piece? Yeah, I'll take these, even though they're a little grungy. And many are missing the manual, but you know what? That doesn't uh, matter. A dollar, GameCube games, I'll pick them up all day as long as they're not sports titles. One final note, after the fact, I kind of regretted not picking up some of the PC games, the Age of Empires 3, there was a Roller Coaster Tycoon game, uh, and a Sacred 2 game. Again, kind of regret not picking them up. Maybe um, if I can talk the wife into it, she'll uh, let me go up tomorrow morning and uh, see if the gentleman's still there, and I might pick them up. And here we have the gentleman that I was able, maybe a couple months ago, to find um, like 9 to 10 Sega Genesis loose carts for like a dollar a piece. Definitely had some really good games in there, so I'm going to see if I can find anything uh, in his current stock of stuff. And I found Trauma Center Second Opinion uh, for the Wii. It's a loose game, but it's uh, a dollar, so yeah, I'll probably pick that one up as well. All right, guys, here's the stuff I found from my local flea market that's only a few miles away. First, we've got a copy of Trauma Center Second Opinion. It is, unfortunately, a disc-only copy. And I got it for a dollar. Pretty good shape, too. I unfortunately already have this one, so I'm, this one will be up for trade or sale as well. Next, I found uh, nine GameCube games, all a dollar a piece, which is pretty crazy, and one PC game that I picked up just so I could uh, basically pay the guy $10 and he wouldn't have to break change for me. First is the PC game. This is the original The Sims. Fortunately, it's missing, missing the manual, but it does include the serial key, so I can install this. And then nine uh, GameCube games. It's a mixed lot. A couple decent ones, and unfortunately, a couple the the boxes unfortunately don't match what's inside. I didn't pay attention, unfortunately. But again, for a dollar a piece, can't pass them up. First, we've got a Player's Choice copy of Metroid uh, Prime. It is complete. Oh, and I forgot to mention these games were absolutely scuzzy. I had to clean them up pretty good, and as you can still see, there's quite a bit of. Um, label sticker residue on these as well. Next, it says Worms 3D, and I really wish it was, but that's not what's in it. What's in this is uh, Pinball Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, yeah, like I said, it's disc only. So what I'll probably end up doing is taking the uh, cover out of this one and printing me a cover for this one so I can put it on my shelf because I don't have this one. Metroid Prime I do have, though. Next is Medal of Honor uh, Rising Sun. It is player's choice and complete. I do not have this one. 
here's another one I have that is I just got this a couple days or a couple weeks ago I believe maybe maybe it was last week that is WWF uh, Day of Reckoning. This is a disc only or a uh, missing the manual copy. Next is one I don't have. This is Dead to Rights. Massive label residue on it as you can see from uh, EB slash GameStop. But it is complete. Another game I hear rave reviews about, unfortunately it's a uh, missing the manual, that is Time Splitters 2. Next is another game I don't have. Um, fortunately, it's missing the manual as well. Quite a few of these were missing the manual. That is Spawn Armageddon. And here's another one that what's inside doesn't match the case. It says Need for Speed Most Wanted, but that's not what's in it. What is in it is, unfortunately, a copy of Street Hoops. I do not have it in my collection so again I'll probably end up taking the uh, cover out of this one and switching it out printing the one out for it. Last game is another SCSI um, sticker residue copy of Top Gun Combat Zones. I do not own this one in my collection as well. And again it's missing the manual. Okay for all of that I paid, I believe it was, um, it was like $11 for all of that. And if you add all of that up, it comes close to um, $75, which is pretty good. Uh, all right, next up will be, um, I went out to the um, Ocala flea market, the I-75 super flea market. Went on a Saturday, um, you know, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit, go to a place I've never been. Um, and also I went to my local and where I got this stuff uh, on a Saturday because I did find some people I hadn't seen before which is kind of cool. So guys, I hope you enjoy the next footage. And here we are at the Ocala Flea Market. Um, unfortunately it's a Saturday and you can see there's not a lot of people uh, or vendors here today so I can definitely uh, see me and the wife coming maybe in the near future on a Sunday just to see how many people and vendors show up. And this table had a mix of uh, all kinds of stuff from PC games to Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. So again, depending on the price, um, if I can get these for a good price, I will definitely uh, pick them up. So let's uh, see uh, what I can find first. How much? So that's five games for five dollars, dollar a piece. Definitely can't beat that. I will pick those up all day. And this aisle had music blaring, so that's why I had to kind of uh, didn't record. You can see I picked up Desert Strike for the Game Boy and Bo Jackson for the original Game Boy. I got these for three dollars. That's a dollar fifty a piece. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, I love collecting Game Boy games, as you've seen in my previous videos. Here's Ren and Stimpy for the original Sega Genesis game. Uh, depending on what I can get this for, I may pick it up. Hmm? Okay. 
much. How much you want to pay for it? Probably like a dollar. No, three. <laughs> it's the minimum. Nah, I can't do that. Okay. Yeah, it's probably worth three dollars. I just didn't want to pay that, so I moved on. Unfortunately, the only person that sells video games out here uh, was not here on Saturday, so I missed them. And the final uh, booth that had some video games, they had probably thousands of them. It was really bad lighting over here, so I didn't record very much. Um, they just had tons of stuff. Everything was $5. As much as I dug through, I just didn't find anything of value uh, that I wanted to pay. If that Starflight game would have had the disc and manual with it, and not just been an empty box, I definitely would have picked that up. But unfortunately, that's all it was, was just the box. Alright guys, here's the stuff I found from the Ocala Flea Market. First up, we've got two Game Boy games. I got these for $1.50 a piece, that's $3. First is uh, Bo Jackson. And the other one was uh, Desert Strike. Did not realize this one's like a $7 game, which is kind of cool. Next, uh, there was a lady out there that had um, quite a bit of, you know, mishmash of stuff. Um, all of this stuff I'm about to show you was $5 for everything. It was five different items. First, we've got Wing Commander for the uh, Super Nintendo. Next is a disc-only copy of God of War for the PS2. Next is Total Recall for the uh, Nintendo. Here is uh, Power Play Sports Trivia. It's factory sealed for the original PlayStation. And a game that I can't believe it says it's worth like $16, which kind of surprises me. That is Ghostbusters, the video game for the PlayStation 3. Fortunately, it is disc only, though. Like I said, $5. That's like a dollar a piece for these items, so I definitely wasn't going to pass these up. All right, for all of this stuff... I paid, so it was five, like eight dollars for all the stuff I just showed you from the Ocala flea market, and it comes to close to forty dollars for all that stuff, which is kind of surprising as well. All right, the last uh, place I went, unfortunately I didn't get any footage of this because my camera had died by then. I uh, stopped, my wife wanted to pick a couple things up at the Dollar General, and I dug through their DVDs and Blu-rays and found a couple things, which I was not going to pass up. First is a Blu-ray 2-pack. It has the original The Grudge and Silent Hill. That was $5. Next, I found another 2-pack uh, Blu-ray. It is the collector's edition of The Karate Kid. It is, uh, includes The Karate Kid 1 and 2 for $5. Probably one of my favorite movies when I was a kid was the original. And one I don't know a lot about. I just know this is from the uh, director of Akira. So that is, I found a collector's edition of Steam Boy. It is DVD only, but still for $6, I was not going to pass this up because it looks really cool. Alright guys, that is it for this week. I hope you come back um, next week, hopefully, probably next Sunday, I'll uh, have another, another pickups video. Thanks again, guys.